Creating t-shirts to sell in your Etsy shop does not have to take a lot of time. And when you know what products are selling well and you have a template to actually start your design from, it can make this entire process easier. So in today's video, I want to share with you what designs are actually trending right now and how you can use Kittle to speed up your design process to make amazing designs you can sell right now on your Etsy shop. I'm sure this is all with you coming up next. So welcome back to the video, my friends. You're new here. My name is Jay on this channel teach you how to make passive income online by creating and selling your own products. So if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. So making t-shirt designs do not have to be difficult. By using a program like Kittle, you are able to start from a template to redesign this and to fit this into what you believe will sell well on Etsy. And Kittle has a large amount of templates you can use for your t-shirt and other pre on demand products. And they are created by graphic designers, which makes your entire process of using this easier. Now, if you want to check out Kittle on your own, I make sure I leave all the details in my description box below for you to get started and to see if this is best for your print on demand business. So the niche that we want to focus on today is the teacher niche. And the reason for that is that we're in a season now where we're getting ready for back to school and teacher shirts sell great all year round, just in general, but especially in certain particular times of the year, like going back to school where we see an influx in teacher t-shirts. So one of the things we wanna focus on is utilizing this trend in our design, where we're targeting specific grade level teachers and creating a shirt for them. So in our case today, we see this fourth grade teacher shirt doing well, has 20 plus people in the cart. Again, I go over here to this other shirt here. It says kindergarten teacher shirt and third grade teacher shirt, really personalized to whoever the teacher is it is a best-selling design here and again 20 plus people in the cart and i have another example here first grade team shirt bestseller 20 plus people in the cart so this is an easy way for you to, to niche down if you are thinking about creating a teacher shirt just focus on you know what type of grade level can i create it for and we definitely want to pull out some elements that we know to work well we see this color palette is working well this boho color we see also this thin line script font for teachers working well and we see some heart elements on top that's working well also so we definitely want to jump into Kittle, kind of grab these things that's working well and find a way to create this very easily and very quickly by utilizing their templates to speed up our entire design process. All right, so here we are in Kittle. And one of the things we definitely want to go to t-shirts just for you to see so many different templates you can create from. Again, starting from a template will make your entire design process a whole lot easier and go a whole lot faster. Because again, you can take what works in that so you can just change some things over into your own creative design. But again, you're not starting from scratch. Now, what I like to do is just be focused on what is actually in Kittle right now, because there are a ton of creators creating templates. So I definitely want to focus on things that are geared towards my niche because you never know you might find something that works out well and as you can see we have a number of things we can start from and it's utilizing some of those popular font designs and elements already there in the space and now it's just for us to take what's here and recreate this in our own special way so the design i want to take here to create my teacher shirt is this one right here i can simply click on this and recreate this in our own special way all right so here we are in kittle and one of the first things i want to do is just take away this major element here because again we're going to focus on a simple teacher retro design and so this middle part i don't need this entire design is one solid piece so i would just simply delete this now the reason why i like using templates is because some of this stuff on here we're going to keep and kind of change the order of it and the size of it to fit our design now one of the things i want to do here is go to this bottom break area and i want to change this over to where it says teacher so let me just first put this where i want it to be and again, I can move this around Let's to save this for later. I can hit ungroup and just move this around so, can, so that it won't be in my design area. All right, and I wanna go in here and start changing the text. Being that this is already dialed into the style that we have, I don't really have to do too much to this, just change the entire text. All right, so as you can see, we changed the first part of our text, but we want this to say the full word teacher. So what I would do here, I was go back to my first letter and just hit right click. I want to copy and I want to hit right click again and hit paste. And now I have a new letter I can change. So let's change this. And I want to go back through the cycle of colors, head over to E again. And I want to copy this and paste this and change this over to the letter R. 
So now I have all the letters together. Now I need to regroup this to place this properly on my t-shirt. So I just want to group these together. Move this over just a tad bit, give me some room. Now I want to ungroup these here. Move this over to the side. Move that over as well. Though it's not lining up perfectly, I can regroup this. Right click, group together. I can shrink this a little bit smaller so that it can be in my area. And then I can ungroup this just to make sure everything is lined up the right way. All right, so here we have our teacher right here in the middle. Now, one of the things I wanna get rid of are the words at the top and at the bottom. If you wanna use that for your design, you can, but in our case today, we just want the retro design to be focused on the teacher and nothing else. So I'll go up here, click this and hit delete. Go to the bottom, click this and hit delete as well. So we're gonna utilize these flowers here in a little bit, but one of the things I wanna to go to next is my text. So for me to add in text, all I have to do is hit T or I can go here and select text. But for right now, I'll hit T. I have my text here. I wanna make this larger, so I'll grab the edges here and make this big. And as you can see, just as a side note, there's already some texture in the background of this. So this is going to be really good to just add in some unique design to what we already have. So with our text, we wanna go ahead and head over to the top and we want to change this over to fourth grade because that is the primary grade we're focusing on with our niche. I can spray this out a little bit more. Now, instead of us keeping this basic text design, Kittle has a lot of pretext already in their software for us to use. So we definitely want to go in here and find one that fits the overall style. We know the works best. We can go up here and search some text here. This is the one I want to focus on right here. And as you can see, this works out well. I can make this large for us. And then I have it right here in place. Now, again, we are going to use these flowers at the bottom here. So I just want to move these over because I want to add in some more text at the bottom. So I want to copy my first text and paste it to the bottom. That's what I did here. And I can add in some personalization if I want. All right, and I have that there. So I think our entire text is laid out the right way. Now we want to go in here and utilize some of these elements that came from this template to our design and see if we can match that up well with what we have here. All right, so one of the things I like already are these retro stars. And so I definitely want to utilize that here in my design. Now I just want to overlap some of them here bring this one here a little bit down where we are. And again, this is just your creative, you know, area where you can see what works best for your designs. Nothing here you gotta stay true to, but again, you just definitely wanna use elements that you know are working well in the space that you have. And I think we have done that here. Now with our flowers here, we definitely wanna add these things in. So I wanna use this somewhat as a border to our teacher. So I can add this here. And I can go ahead and add this one here. And as you can see, it's not really lining up well. But I can use the bottom rotation tool just to rotate that over just to fit our R into place. And I wanna use this top flower here right at the top of our R and just shrink this down to size. All right, so here we have our finalized design in front of us here. Again, we have fourth grade teacher with that retro style. And again, having that personalization at the bottom. Now, if you do not want to offer personalization, but you still wanna add something down to the bottom, you can add something like fourth grade team. And again, that can work out as well. You can make this a little bit larger by grabbing the size here and adding fourth grade team. You can make this into something that works best with what you have for your Etsy shop. But again, I wanna go back to personalization because these things are doing well, especially for this particular niche. Now, if everything looks well here, one of the things I like to do is group everything together just so that nothing is out of place or moved. So I know everything is locked into where I want it. And again, as you can see here, we already have this texture in the background of our design. Kittle allows you to have some textures that you can add in here just to add in one more element to make your design stand out. Being that we already have one in here because it came from a template that is also saving us a ton of time. One of the things you definitely want to note if you are using texture is that you definitely want to head over to clip content because this will allow the entire design to be clipped with the texture and not the overall background itself. So to make that more visible to us, I'm going to change the background here and just show you how the texture is overlay in the background. So you see how this is all distorted or, you know, just, just not looking right here. If we were to download this, even with the background gone, it will still have that texture over our entire canvas. So you definitely want to go in here and hit clip content. And as you can see, the texture here will only wrap around the element and the font that we have on our design. So again, clip content off has his entire background covered, which will show even as a transparent background in our design. But again, once we hit clip content, it would just focus on what is on the canvas itself, such as the text and the element. So I will switch this back over to white. And again, if everything looks well here, 
I can go ahead and save this as my design. So I was called this fourth grade teacher shirt. And I like, you know, making sure everything is organized, especially when I'm doing a whole lot of t-shirts so I can stay focused on what I have and where I have it. So I can easily upload this into Etsy. If everything works out well here, I can hit download. And I want to remove the background here. So I can do that here and hit PNG and it will save this as a PNG file. Now, one of the things I also like to do is just not have a black text version as I see here with my text, but also have a white text version because I can sell this on multiple color t-shirts. And because we already have everything dialed in, all I have to do here is ungroup very quickly, go into my text here. I can change this to white and this as well, the bottom text to white. If I do want to see that visible here, I can change my background. I see this is also visible and I can hit download again, remove backgrounds already selected and hit PNG. And this will change this to the white text version. If I want to change the name of my file so I know what it is, I like to just stay with the abbreviation WT as that will let me know this is the white text version. So again, move background, select PNG. And now I have both versions available for me to use for my t-shirts. All right, so here we are in Canva. I like using Canva to really lay my designs on my mock-up images. So I have my design here for my particular shirt here, this dark heather gray, and I'm definitely going to use the white text version that I have here. So I have this design here in front of me. All I have to do here is just lay it up on my t-shirt mock-up. So one of the things I like to do here also is just to bring down the transparency to make my design seem if it is printed on the t-shirt itself. So I have that design here and I also want to utilize my black text version. That's why I say it's always good to have more than one version you have created for this sand and type cream color t-shirt here. So I have my black text version here and again, I can move this down to size and again, I want to change the transparency of this. So this can also resemble as if it is printed on the t-shirt. And again, the number always changes here. I like to stay somewhere between 85 and 95, but again, all depend on what color you are using. If you're using bold colors, like in our case here, then we might want to just go a little bit lower than 85, especially if it's on a brighter color t-shirt. But again, this is all at your discretion. All right, so as you can see here, we have our finalized design, fourth grade teacher, and then we have that personalization at the bottom. Again, we have our white text version here, and we also have our black text version here. And again, this is just how easy it is for you to go into Kittle, create designs that are selling well on Etsy, and kind of move that over into your own creative style and to bring something new into a demanding space, especially right now in the summertime for teacher t-shirts, because we know these things are already going to do well when we get to that back to school uh, season in August and September. You can take this design style that we created in Kittle and make it for other great levels. Again, this is how we're able to get consistent sales because we're niching down. So if I'm in the space here and I'm already batching content here for my t-shirt business, I can go here, right here in this space and change this to fifth grade and to download this white text version, download this black text version. I have a whole new t-shirt to sell. And again, go here and do the same thing for the second grade. Go here and change some things up. And again, I have something also here for the second grade niche. If I want to go here and just change the entire thing to a different teacher, I can do history teacher. And again, this is how you are able to speed up this process because you're not creating anything from scratch. What you have done essentially have created your own template for your own designs to batch content, to upload more on Etsy. So as you can see here, using Kittle saves you so much time and it's a great resource. If you're really thinking about getting into selling print on demand products. All right. So here we have our mockups here for our design. Again, if we were really building this out, we would have all, all of our mockups filled in, but just for today's example, just have the two here and I have a my title here. So we definitely want to focus on that specific teacher. So we have fourth grade teacher shirt. And what I found always work well, especially if I'm targeting a specific grade level is to write the grade level out itself, fourth grade, and to also have another way of utilizing that phrase. So I have the number here, fourth grade teacher shirt. And again, I want to make sure that I'm focused on matching t-shirts because that's working well, as well as targeting the specific time of the year, which is the first day of school in the back to school season as well. So if everything is good here, I can publish this and start selling this on my Etsy shop. So as you can see, getting started with Kittle to create these designs for your print on demand business is really easy to do 
once you know what type of demanding products are selling well and redesign those templates to fit what you know is selling well on Etsy. Now, again, if you want to check out Kitta on your own, I make sure I leave a link down in my description box below for you to see if this is best for your print on demand business. Now, in today's video, I didn't have time to talk about how to actually start an Etsy shop from start to finish. However, if you want to learn that exact step by step process, then make sure you check out this next video here. And if you want to learn more about how to make passive income online, then consider subscribing to my channel here. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.